product that I'm using is a Blickman beer gun. So if we take a look at it, it's not too complicated. It has two functions. There's a button right here, and this actually releases CO2, which is feeding in through this tube here. There's two ways to feed CO2. I have a pressurized keg, and I actually have my CO2 line hooked up to it. So the pressure that's in the keg is feeding the CO2, which comes out of the end of the gun right here. Then there's this trigger right here, which lets the beer in through this line here. So what am I doing here? Ideally, the beer gun is gonna go into the bottle. We're gonna pull the CO2 line. We're gonna fill that bottle with CO2, just like professional brewery. CO2 is ever so slightly heavier than air, so it should sit at the bottom of the bottle. It's gonna mix in air at the same time though. This is not like argon where it's gonna sit like putty at the bottom of the bottle. So we're gonna to have to be careful here. Here's the main hint I'll give you. Use a ton of CO2. CO2 is somewhat cheap. It's a pain to go pick it up. Use a ton of CO2. We wanna clear this as best as possible. Once we clear the bottle of air with the CO2 through this button, I'll then fill. It's gonna foam like crazy. It's gonna foam over the top. That's why I have it in this tray. You should expect the beer to foam over and you're just gonna to have to waste some beer. That's one of the things that's painful about doing competitions and bottling. There's gonna be beer wastage. It's a fact of life. But here's a hint. Don't treat your beer as too precious. Waste some of it. I know you put a lot of time into it, a lot of thought and a lot of love, but the more beer you go through, right, the more you have to brew. The more you have to brew, the more practice you get. To learn more on how to win a beer competition, please click the link below.